Thanks for the time. Appreciate you joining us here on Money and Politics. And let me ask you, is the Ben Bernanke you spoke with this afternoon, did it look and sound like a man who's worried? Well, he looked like a person who was appropriately focused and concerned on, on the economy. Uh, uh, frankly, I always understand a little uh, a little better when I'm talking to Mr. Bernanke than I did uh, Mr. Greenspan, and he is a little more direct, uh, and some of these actions he's taken have been pretty direct, but, but my, my guess is that uh, time will prove that he was right. I had some specific questions about uh, the Bear Stern situation, uh, but uh, it, it does look like to me, both before the questions and after, that the American uh, taxpayer and the reserve system really have very little at risk there. Uh, I, I hope that's a, a unique uh, time that we have to do that, but as that, as that uh, situation unfolded, I think the risk for taxpayers is very light uh, compared to the risk that might have been if uh, that institution would have been allowed to go down. You know, the FDIC uh, is always, has always been empowered, uh, if a bank's in trouble, uh, to quietly find uh, a stronger bank to come in and take that bank over before there's a problem created in the community. And to a certain extent, that's exactly what the Federal Reserve did with uh, Bear Stearns. So, so, sir, are you satisfied then, based on your conversation with Chairman Bernanke, if you had questions about this deal previously, are you satisfied it was the right thing for the Fed to do at this point? I think that uh, the Fed didn't have many choices, and uh, the whole discussion now about whether our regulatory uh, atmosphere is sufficient for the way uh, that the financial markets have developed is, is a real question because of this. My guess is uh, that both Mr. Bernanke and Mr. Paulson uh, were uh, uh, faced with a set of circumstances that they would hope to, to try to prevent in the future, uh, and I think they made the right decision from the taxpayer point of view uh, and the economy uh, point of view. All right, let me ask you about that because you, you've heard the, the calls already in Congress. We heard some more today. If, uh, if the Fed and if Washington can provide this lifeline to, uh, to Bear Stearns, why can't the Congress, the administration, do more to help uh, average Americans facing uh, real troubles in their homes, these mortgage problems we're seeing across the country? Uh, how do you respond to that? Are, 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 do you see real progress in Congress right now, real effort in Congress, to try and reach a bipartisan agreement on something? Well, well, frankly, Peter, I, I think that uh, the Bear Stearns uh, intervention uh, did have the average Main Street guy in mind whenever the, the Fed stepped in, uh, the Federal Reserve stepped in. Uh, it, it secures the financial markets that have a real uh, chain impact. And like I said, we've always given the FDIC the capacity to do this same thing with banks. And what we haven't done appropriately over the last 50 years, maybe, is keep up with all the changes between banks, bankings, and finances generally. On the broader question of housing, I think you have to be very careful here that you don't step in uh, in a way that uh, makes it harder in the future uh, for people who legitimately should be able to get a mortgage to get one. If the federal government uh, starts uh, assuming that they, can, uh, that they can change interest rates in the bankruptcy court, or that there's some penalty for the lending institution if they make a loan that four or five years later life didn't work out for the person they made the loan to like that person and the bank thought it would, that would be a real problem. So our goal here should be to first do no harm, uh, to second to help those people who legitimately got in a problem that the system somehow helped create, uh, and not to bail out lenders or speculators who were in the market uh, and maybe in a market that they knew all along that they they shouldn't be in. Congressman, you know the, the, some of the proposals coming from Democrats, including uh, Mr. Frank in the House Financial Services Committee. We're hearing the same thing from uh, Chris Dodd over on the Senate side. One of their major ideas right now would be to allow the Federal Housing Administration to, to guarantee, perhaps, uh, the purchase of some $300 billion of, of loans right now, or at least help in the refinancing of some $300 billion worth of loans right now. Do you draw the line there? Should federal dollars not be allowed to, for that kind of activity? Well, we've always had some federal uh, involvement there with things like, like FHA. My, uh, my view at this point is that a better thing to do would be to go ahead and move forward uh, with the uh, FHA Modernization Act, allow them to come in and do by regulation and in other ways what the FHA has always done. Uh, my guess is that legislating in this area is likely to have long-term consequences that are unintended, unhelpful, uh, and that the Congress will be sorry for if it gets too far into trying, trying to legislate. You know, one of the things that the Federal Reserve has done that's been helpful is by lowering uh, the uh, reserve rates 
uh, the so-called reset problem where these variable mortgage came up uh, came up and, and most of we're through most of that now did not create nearly the problems that it would have uh, if the reserve rate had been a, a percent higher or two yes. percent high, higher and so some of these problems are working themselves out we just need to be sure we're not sending the wrong message to the 94 or 95 percent of the Americans that have a mortgage uh, they're working stressing straining every day uh, driving less of a car than they'd like to going out to le eat really? less often to pay their mortgage Really quickly, uh, Ben Bernanke, again, the, the sense you got from him, his level of optimism that the economy is on the rebound right now. I think you'll have to ask him that, and, and he'll probably be asked that tomorrow. My strong sense from the chairman is that he is very focused on this economy and what it takes to get the economy headed in the right direction. And uh, uh, like a lot of people, hopeful that the stimulus uh, shot in the arm here over the next 60 and 90 days uh, will be a helpful part of that. All right, Congressman Roy Blunt, the House Minority Whip. Thank